So today we're, we're making a really good and healthy dessert that's perfect for a spicy filled meal. It's the perfect ending. I'm back with cooking instructor Heidi Lang. Always a pleasure to have you here. Always great to be here. All right, so we were talking about a secret ingredient in yes, this watermelon yes. salad. Let's I, get right to I it. I didn't want to give it away before we started. So <laughs> we, um, in, at, at Fit Cooking School, we love to use interesting spices um, and ingredients. You and, always do. And yeah, and the thing is a lot of people are very afraid to use things that are new. But the great thing is now there's so many stores, specialty stores and grocery stores that um, give you ingredients that were really considered unusual even 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be using something called rose water, a very, very typical ingredient in some Moroccan food and Persian food and sometimes Middle Eastern Can I smell food. it? Yeah. And, it, and if you had a grandmother or someone who wore 4711, it's a perfume that's not worn a lot. You'll it remember that smell. It smells a little smell. like perfume or soap, Heidi. It does. It's it's distilled um, uh, uh, roses roses in wow. water and lasts really forever. And you're allowed so. to consume this? Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Lovely. It's a very common ingredient again in the Middle East. Okay. And um, later, when when we're done, we're, I'm just going to introduce you also to something called orange blossom water, also I've never very heard of that. often used in perfumes. And these oh, are wow. incredibly powerful. Um, fragrant ingredients to use, especially in fruit dishes, but often sometimes used in meat dishes and stews as well. Okay. So today we're going to make this wonderful watermelon pomegranate salad. So you need about a watermelon, it's about three, four, four pounds in size. Okay. We were talking before the show that the, the hardest part of this yeah. is actually cutting Any the watermelon. Any secrets or really just get I, into I, it and cut actually it Actually, no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but what you want to do is, if you can, put it in a colander so, to let some of the water uh, it gets it's real always, messy, yes, right? It gets really messy. So we're going to take this rose water that we were just talking about, and we're going to add, if you'd like, um, six tablespoons. I'm okay. Move this over here. In the meantime, I'm going to get out the honey. So we're going. Oh, here you go. Uh, now you can make this as strong or as weak as you like, but. Um, the more rose water, of course, the more fragrant it tastes. And it just sort of uh, brings up a summery feeling as well. I like it. Uh, so we're, then we're going to add some. That's very accurate with this pouring. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> but I got a little extra in there. Okay. So now we're going Oops. to do, this is a lot easier. We're going to do uh, some honey. Okay. We're going to do two tablespoons of honey. Oh, we're sweetening up. And, huh? Yes, we are. And then we're going to do some pomegranates. Actually, in the meantime, what I ask you to do is to put some pomegranate seeds. Here are the pomegranate seeds right here. Oh. And we're going to. So you actually you. have to go through the fruit and get go. the seeds, correct? Or I can know. you buy them separately? Oh, my God. I'm oh, glad really? you asked that. That's another thing. Uh, take oh. a pomegranate seed. Put about four tablespoons. You can put three or four tablespoons is great. Um, it used to be that's what you had to do, but now there are a lot of stores like mm -hmm. Trader Joe's, places like that, that sell them already extracted. Oh. Much, much, much easier. Much easier, oh right? Oh, my gosh, yes. That's really a pain. Okay? So we've got our, our honey, and we're going to just take a whisk. Now just whisk this up a little bit, okay? Sure. Try to mix that as well as you can. And then we're going to add a little pomegranate juice. Now, if you don't have pomegranate juice, pomegranate juice is not something a lot of people drink, mm -hmm. so you can skip it if you like, but it does give an extra little flavor. It's pretty readily available, though. I've seen it, it is. in It's very before. easy to get. Very, very, very easy to get, okay? So we're going to add four tablespoons of the pomegranate uh, juice. Okay. And then, guess what? Is that about it? Pour this over. Do you want me to do that? Sure. <laughs> All right. And and also, of course, if you have um, some nice fresh uh, mint in your garden, Ooh. or you can buy some mint, and then we're just going to give this a stir. Oh, it smells great. great. Doesn't that smell wonderful? Yeah. Uh, so I almost want to wear it, though. I know. <laughs> So You're good. right. You could also then add other things to this if you like. Even cherries would be just beautiful. Because oh, yeah. the pomegranate seeds are a little subtle. Mm -hmm. They're very sweet, um, but they're delicious. And instead of just cutting a watermelon, how long did that take? Not Teresa? long. I mean, maybe three minutes? Yeah, if that. If not, if that. Uh, so I thought that was just uh, a perfect thing for summer. And I thought also, while I was thinking about it and thinking about it, since we use these, uh, thing, these ingredients so often in our classes, I thought, oh, wait a minute. Something about uh, cantaloupe and orange blossom would Ooh. work. So we're going to do a similar thing. Where's our bowl? So we're going to actually put a little bit less um, this time because uh, a cantaloupe is much smaller. Okay. So give me two tablespoons sure. of orange blossom water. And we're just going to put one tablespoon of the honey in here. Great. Oopsies. Oh, uh, this smells so unique. Isn't it? And so the taste, and then we're going to put strawberries. I found that the, oh, thank you, Sure, Teresa. no problem. <laughs> Teresa's going to be my sous chef. I will, anytime you need some help, and, or at least okay. maybe some fun. <laughs> <laughs> some fun, exactly, exactly. Okay, give that a good stir. Okay. 
And we're not going to add pomegranate seeds to this because I found that, that they were just a little too tart for this. And so instead, we're going to add strawberries. Oh, that'd be great. And um, if you serve these to your guests, they will just think they're having normal salad. Great. Should I put know? this right yes, on? Exactly. All righty. Uh, but and then when they taste the orange and the water and the they're going to get water, something really fancy, right? Exactly, <laughs> which is what we love to do. We it's don't great. we don't want people to spend hours and hours in the kitchen when they can make things that are so interesting so quickly. Very good. Well, we're going to dig in at the end of the show. Wonderful. Of course, we'll have the recipe over at wtnh.com. Yeah. Heidi, always a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Always a pleasure to be here. All right, coming up next on stage eight, the Harigari Singing Society German American Club performs. We'll be right back.